what is up guys happy saturday hope you guys are doing well i am tiff um i don't even know what the fuck i was gonna say <laughs> no i'm just playing okay so i like youtube started channeling the song for me this morning i never heard it okay and so when that shit starts channeling um it's a song by ed sheeran and the weekend who i love both of them right and it's called dark times I feel like I'm channeling the Divine Masculine's energy. It was the first time I've heard the song. I loved it. Whenever that happens to me, I will, during the pre-shuffle, I'll just let that song replay and really feel the energies right. Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, Dark Times. And it's like, it says, in my dark times, I'll be going back to the streets, promising everything that I do not mean. In my dark times, baby, this is all I can be. Only my mother could love me for me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is a masculine that like when he starts going through it and shit, instead of facing his problems or trying to, you know, get through them head on, instead he just like he go he goes to like back to that street mentality or back to the streets. He runs back, wants to get fucked up, taking his mind off shit. You know what I'm saying? Smoking, drinking, chilling. You know, he's really not trying to to face what's going on in his life right so we have a divine masculine it's less going through some dark times i don't know if it's like whenever y'all do he runs back to the streets you know what i'm saying and don't be giving a fuck getting fucked up or it's like you know when y'all go through it he goes and makes promises to other people or he's always breaking his promises okay but something is going on with this masculine and we're finna find out what it is all right Spirit, ancestors, and guys, can we get what's going on with the masculine at this time, please? Spirit, ancestors, and guys, what is going on with this masculine spirit? Thank you. Ooh. Okay, let me get one more. Thank you. Okay. So what is going on with this masculine is he's stressing the fuck out, all right? There is this person in his energy, this woman, that has his heart, heart okay? This masculine's heart, it's shattered, it's bruised, it's like been through it, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to give his heart to anybody, but the thing is, he can't fucking help it. There is this one person that has his heart regardless of what he does, and with it falling right under rest and rejuvenation in the reverse, it's like he cannot get over this. He cannot get past this person he cannot heal from this okay it's like rest and rejuvenation in the upright that's a card of healing you know taking care of yourself moving forward and this person it's like they cannot move on from this woman holding their heart you know what i'm saying um this masculine isn't taking care of itself very well. It's like when like when you was with this masculine, okay, or whatever the situation is. I didn't even say that, y'all. This is going to be a general reading. Take this how it resonates. Do not force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box, guys. Hit that like button for me. It sends an energetic donation my way. And make sure you're subscribed, okay? I didn't even do my, my freaking intro because on this song and this masculine's energy it's so freaking heavy okay so it's like when you were with this masculine like he had kept his hair cut you know what i'm saying face shaved was looking good wearing cologne and it's like you could have seen this person and they're like shaggy as hell looking bad and you're, you're like oh what the fuck is going on with you bro you know what i'm saying and it's like because this person is just going through that dark night of the souls and i'm not trying to laugh but damn it's like they it's like they're not even taking care of themselves they're just not even really giving a fuck this person could be like waking up taking shots you know like this person cannot get over this energy that has their heart and the problem with this masculine is like he doesn't know what the fuck to say and this could be like you not responding to him like if he's reaching out to you trying to talk and you're not responding you're like fuck no i don't want to fucking hear that shit right and he's it's like making this masculine freak out if not if it's the other way because this is general if it's like 
he, him not reaching out to you is like this person can't figure out what the fuck to say at all whatsoever and it's stressing them out with that anxiety card this masculine is completely full of of stress anxiety it's like constant that's why they're you know taking shots trying to smoke a blunt you know what i'm saying it's like they can't they can't get this off their mind if you're not answering them back it's like they're going to sleep they can't sleep good at night right and then it's like they're waking up in the morning immediately looking at their phone and there's nothing there and they're like what in the fuck bro what what is going on now this could be you waking up in the morning looking at your phone like what the hell this person ain't even giving a damn you know what i'm saying but it's not that it's like this person doesn't even know what the fuck to say to you it's like they can't get over you they can't and they this person definitely but i feel like this could be you just being like you know what fuck no nah. and what it's doing is it's stressing this person out way more you know what i'm saying So, this person, I don't know if something was awakened in this masculine spiritually. It might have been y'all's connection. Something did. Okay, something awakened within this masculine. And it helped them intuitively. Like, if they were in another, because this is my karmic card. Like, there's two karmic cards in this deck that I consider a karmic card, okay? And that is this card and the attachment card. The all tied up card you're stuck in a fucking situation that you can't get out of okay and this is a love reading so if it wasn't love you know this could be a job this could be anything right but because this is a love reading i'm, I'm feeling like you know this is a person that had had been stuck in a situation and this could have been past present future you know whatever you know and it's like you open up their intuition to this other situation and help them free themselves from whatever they were stuck on and and it could have been a job it could have been another person it could have been it, it whatever it was it was a karmic situation in their life that brought them down and it was like whatever your connection did for this masculine it intuitively woke them up they started using their third eye chakra that intuition and it's like it made them come out of this feeling of feeling like they are stuck in that situation or they can't get out of that situation or move on from it because with the all tied up in reverse this is them um not feeling stuck anymore moving forward right being unable to tell you how they're feeling though Be, but right at spirit come through because look now bottom of the deck i got this deck sitting here right I, it was the door to personal happiness and healing, okay? That you are this person's door to happiness and healing. But what's crazy as fuck is what did I just say? Right under that card is my other karmic card. Spirit come through. Thank you for that answer, right? It is a karmic situation. A karmic attachment. This person, it's like this whatever this attachment is it was stuck to this your masculine for a long time man but whatever this connection is that the two of you have opened it up like spiritually and emotionally and intuitively and made it to where they don't feel stuck there they can move on from that okay for a long time they had to watch you keep an eye on you they couldn't come towards you but with this in reverse right because normally i explain this card you see her waiting out here you know she can't you know this is the garden and the gate the garden is a beautiful wonderful place but it's like she's too scared to walk through that gate and go there so instead she stays on the outside and keeps an eye but with it in reverse it's like this person isn't scared anymore they're they're going through that gate they're opening it up I feel like this this attachment this karmic attachment is over with okay and it's like they're coming towards their door to happiness and healing now look when i try to lift up the deck this just sticks onto the um to my desk patience okay divine timing is at work when it comes to this connection what else is going on with the divine masculine spirit let's see let's just use t spirit For this woman holding a heart, spirit. Ooh, ego. We got the ego card. Pride, ego. This is kind of like um the um the devil. Okay, this is like the devil card. All right, you see how these chains are being um they're breaking the chains. The devil card is what the karmic card of the tarot, right? 
and that fault clear is clarifying the woman holding the heart so what i'm seeing is that this person this masculine is breaking the chains from this karmic okay and what they're doing is they're coming towards their the person that they love the woman that's holding their heart and the card says the illusion of being trapped accepting responsibility for your situation and then making choices that support your pet path to happiness addictions or unhealthy habits you see what i'm saying this masculine they start going through that dark night of the soul and then they turn to sh to shit that's not good for them whether it be sex alcohol drugs whatever the fuck it is gambling you know what i'm saying going and shooting craps all night done wasted damn 900 dollars, looking sick as fuck until your next paycheck type shit right but whatever it is it's like this person is breaking free i literally just said that right with this all tied up card it was like they're breaking free from feeling like like they're trapped anymore and they're making choices that's going to go towards their own happiness right what about this throat chakra spirit what about this throat chakra spirit come through right anxiety depression can't sleep at night can't fucking get you off their mind this has come out in almost every reading the nine of swords right fucking anxiety like a son of a bitch and it's because they they literally don't know it's like either they're sitting up at night waiting on you to text them back or they're sitting up at night trying to figure out what the fuck to say to you you know what i'm saying and it's like whatever you're doing or not doing it's stressing this person the fuck out okay um we have unfounded fear expecting the worst thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation sleepless nights refocus your thoughts okay if that's you that spirit if you're the one up waiting on this person to say something back but they're not spirit is saying it's time to refocus your thoughts okay um stop expecting the worst because you're creating that that in your energy right um but this could definitely be this masculine now it's like they're it's like they're le allowing their worry to this situation grow out of proportion and they're turning to shit that is like it's just not good for them what they need to do is they need to get them some motherfucking sleep they need to quit tripping they need to refocus their damn thoughts right yeah because what's crazy is the third eye chakra which is your intuition is clarified with the high priestess and the five of pentacles okay or the high priest the hierophant whatever you know what i'm saying so it's like somebody could be definitely leaving with the hierophant and the five of pentacles somebody could be definitely leaving behind or ghosting um a marriage situation here that they've been stuck to or they've been in separation or they've been you know awaiting a divorce or whatever somebody's definitely leaving that behind but the thing is whatever this is this marriage is it could put um take a a blow to this person's bank account to their money you know they can take a, a, a material loss due to the fact that they're leaving behind ghosting this this marriage actually finally walking away okay and they're using their intuition on this okay with that third eye chakra it's like they are using their intuition but there are it's like whatever it is it is gonna put a big blow in their fucking pockets but this person isn't giving a damn you know what i'm saying unity with a spiritually minded community ask the divine for help and trust that answers will come negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges fears surrounding money reach out to others for assistance poor timing or becoming self-employed so it's like when this person leaves that behind they might be doing bad and they might come to you for some kind of help okay but i feel like this person is like they're just trusting in the universe they're going with their gut because it's undeniable okay and they're moving forward it's like but they're scared it's like they're thinking like all the instead of focusing on the hidden blessings and what might could happen here this masculine is focusing on all the negative 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 you know what i'm saying stop doing that shit because all it's doing is manifesting into real life right yeah see this person is like the reason why they can't move on and move forward it's like and in the past they had fucking they had a lot of options okay and this person will be weak as fuck sometimes and just go wherever the motherfucking road took them just you know not giving a damn not thinking about the consequences until ha after it happened okay um 
this card literally says addictions also i'm telling you just go out get fucked up do dumb ass shit and then blame it on being drunk type shit you know what i'm saying but this card says stop procrastinating or over analyzing make a choice get clarity on what you desire and move forward right too many options so this person it's like they can't move on but it's like they have you waiting because they are over analyzing trying to figure out what they want it's like bitch i ain't no fucking second choice if you don't know you want me then what the fuck okay but it's like this person is realizing that they can't move on from you it's like they're getting clarity on the fact that it's like you are what they want and they can't move on from that Yep, spirit come through. We got the chariot and the sun, right? We got the chariot and the sun. This person is coming straight towards you fast than a motherfucker. Yin yang card, twin flame card to me, okay? Towards their happiness, their sun. Cancer, Leo um, energy here, right? Together. This person is coming and they're coming fast. They're on that motherfucking saddle. They're saddling up. They're coming towards you. Why? Because you make this person happy. You fulfill this person. Rewards that come from hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities. The sun, a time of great joy and success. Plans work out perfectly. Thank the divine, right? This person's coming straight towards you. Why? Because you make this person happy. Truly. Yeah, this person is like where they were feeling stuck before. Okay? And this is the thing. Okay? Because the sun in the chariot clarified the anxiety card. Okay? So they are stressing like a motherfucker about coming towards you. Right? They're scared that you might reject them. They're scared that you don't won't have shit to say to them. Really, coming towards you is stressing them out. But at the end of the day, you make this person happy. Okay? But the thing is here with the all tied up in reverse and the seven of wands, this person is sticking up for themselves with this karmic situation. They don't give a fuck. They're taking action. They're moving forward. Uh, this is the eight of wands. I'm sorry. Okay, so with this karmic situation, so, but still, the spirit wanted me to say it, so they are. They're sticking up for themselves. With this karmic situation, there's just way too much going on. It's like there's so much fucking stress there, and it's like everything is just going to change unexpectedly very quickly. They're taking action to move away. Let me get one more on that. They're taking action to move away from that karmic situation. Spirit, one more on that, spirit. Seven of Wands. Look, y'all, I cannot make this shit up. I told y'all, my spirit guides already knew. They're sticking up for their motherfucking self. The card says stand up for yourself and your belief. Have confidence. Challenge those. But choose your battles wisely. And that's what they're doing when it comes to this motherfucking karmic. They're challenging that karmic. They're sticking up for themselves. They're moving the fuck on. There's too much stress, too much shit going on. Bye, right? And look, there's that my thief in the night card, that seven of swords, sneaking the fuck off, getting the fuck up out of there. I'm, I read intuitively too, and look at him. Yeah, if y'all watch my readings, y'all already know what that looks like to me. Him getting the fuck up out of there, a loss of peace of mind and personal freedom. He feels damn like he, there's nothing, ooh, he, he hates it there. I'm telling you, I can feel his energy. Take caution and be aware of others' actions, a material loss, right? Make sure you are being honest with yourself, embarrassing secrets. So he will be taking a material loss. But it's like he don't give a fuck. He's moving on. Definite Leo energy strength card. He's found his strength. This person cannot make him weak anymore. He has found that person that can tame this motherfucking beast. And he's moving towards you. Faux show. Faux show, faux show. Y'all, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Spirit, let's get some messages from the angels for the collective on this Divine Masculine. We got Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. You see what I'm saying? This masculine is like, eh, time out. I'm fucking done. I've been doing everything for everybody else for too long. It's time to do for me, myself, right? 
Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block their progress. So that's what they're tell, trying to get across to this, this masculine. He knows what he wants. He's visualizing it. But then he goes back to these stupid ass negative ass thoughts, man. Then we have Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by the angels. And what this says to me, okay, is that there could be children involved in this situation, all right, and they worry about that. But the thing is, it's like Spirit is saying these children are well taken care of. You don't have to, y'all already know, you don't have to be in a miserable situation to be in your children's lives, right? right that's what i have for you guys if that resonated at all comment below let me know until next time my loves peace